Hello, Henry. Hello, welcome. Hello, Lexus, Ricardo. Hello, good evening. How are you? Everything, everything good? Everything good. Nice to hear, nice to hear. You know, I've been having internet issues again. Hello, Jose. It's been terrible, and I think it has to do with the wind. It's been very windy, windy and the internet has the just broken down. I don't understand these guys, man. Let's see, let's give everybody a little bit of time to get here. Alex, hello. And welcome, welcome. Happy Tuesday. Hey, good evening. Good evening, Alex. Is that Alex or Jose? No, I think it was Alexander, right? Yeah. It was me. All right. Good evening. Good, 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 good. Good to see you guys. Happy Tuesday. How how was your Tuesday? Did you guys have a good Tuesday? Bad Tuesday? So so. <laughs> it was so so, all right. You know it so, happens so. sometimes. It happens sometimes. People yeah, expect yeah. you to be very very happy at work and sometimes, you know, it's not that way. It doesn't work out that way. Too many meetings. You the, know, the new normality, too many meetings, and this is it's tired. You know, Henry, they did a study on the effects of having a Zoom meeting. And they, they actually determined that it creates more anxiety than the way we had it set up before. Because um, if you had a meeting in, in, in your work group, you know, you would show up into a room and one person would talk and do a presentation, but nobody would focus on you. The way they have it set up now, I don't know if you guys have noticed that somebody's always looking at you and it feels yes. kind of weird. You know, it feels like you're the star of the show and, and you're just there to talk, you know? Yeah, there we go, so yeah. Sometimes Rick, they, they could send an email. There's no need for a meeting, you know? Now, there are some things that I think have to be said in a, in a conversation because when you type it, sometimes it comes out as maybe too bossy or, or you know, somebody sounding too mean. And so I think that for those cases, you know, a quick phone call or a quick meeting or, or maybe just record yourself, you know, hey, this is what's yes. going on and then just give it to everybody. So I, I hear you, Henry, I hear you. It's like our class now, you know. If somebody volunteers to talk, everybody's looking at you. Yeah. Even though, you know, we don't really want <laughs> yes. to, but, it, you know, you're still there. It, it takes a little bit of time. It takes a little bit of time. All right. Yes. All right, guys. Well, with that, you know, happy Tuesday to everybody. Welcome to day number two, week number two. We're moving really, really fast. 
La Plataforma. How are you guys doing on the platform? Let me go ahead and bring that up. Let me go ahead and put it on my screen as well. I think I will share everything today. I want to share everything with you guys. Hello, George. Welcome aboard, sir. Always a pleasure. Okay. Platform. If you guys have been able to complete section one, good for you. If you guys are still on section one, no worries. Remember, we have the whole week again. Um, if you guys are finishing section one, welcome to section number two. And if you guys are already ahead and you guys have completed section two and you guys have moved on ahead, even better. The more, the merrier. That's what we say now. Platform work you could say is 100 percent of your grade so it's absolutely important important for you guys to complete the work on the platform and you guys should be able to get a certification once you guys get to 80 percent so 80 percent to get a certification And that automatically gets you into the next module, right? So that's always good. Um, of course, you have to send in some documentation. But besides the documentation, once you get hit 80 on the platform, you should be OK. All right. So we've been working on section two. Actually, the whole section has to do with models, past models, phrasal models. And there is a lot of content that has to do with models, right? Um, models and verbs. That's the name of the game. All of section two is just, you know, constant bombardment of models and verbs. And so because of that, it also has an effect on what we can and, you know, what we can see and it makes it easier for us. Josue, welcome aboard. Maricela, welcome. I think Jarvin, welcome. You guys are just on the nick of time. And so I wanted to kind of go back into some of the pronunciations that we were doing. I wanted to talk to you guys about, you know, the different consonant sounds and how you guys see them and how people score you on them. If you guys are going to an interview, if that interview has to do with English conversation, pronunciation, they will give you scores. Sometimes they do give you the score. Sometimes they don't. They just tell you to keep practicing. But when they do give you the, the feedback, uh, they usually tell you that there's some sounds that are not coming out right. And so the ones that we struggle with the most uh, I, I think most of us kind of, you know, have an idea. Um, have to do with like the TH sound, uh, the CH, the SH, um, the, the J sound, like, like in the word jam, right? Like when you guys are saying jam. If you guys are using a word like edge, um, the difference between the Y and the J and how we pronounce those. And so what I wanted to do is kind of talk to you guys a little bit about that. Uh, the main focus being consonant sounds, because you guys will get those a lot, right? Consonants. And let me go ahead and put those on here. Well, I, let me see if I can. What the hell? Doesn't let me, doesn't let me paste them. There it is. Okay. Yeah, 
if it's not a consonant sound, then it's a vowel sound, right? A e i o u. A e i o u is vowel sound. Everything else is a consonant. And as you guys have been seeing, different sounds have to do with what consonant goes where, which is the consonant that's being used, or what consonant is the sound that you guys are hearing. And then based on that, you know, you kind of follow through and finish your words. And so yesterday we were able to see a few of the sounds. Uh, for example, the, the rule, right? When we're using ed and we're pronouncing the ID, the T or the D, that's where all of these sounds come in, right? If the word has a P sound, you know, what or how am I going to... Um, sound out the ed at the end and then so it has to do a lot with with the rules of the consonant that's being used and so here as you guys can see these are these are all the consonants and the consonant sounds and so we, let's practice them real quick and we're going to focus on one that's really hard for us uh, which is going to be the th and um, well, we're also going to include a couple of others moving forward or, or in the future that are really, really difficult for us, um, you know, like the SH sound or the CH sound. And we're going to work those out and see how we can get better at pronouncing them. All right. So let's start off with um, the P sound, pit, right? Como el Brad Pitt, el teacher Pitt, Pitt. Real quick, real sharp, pit, right? You have the B sound, which is bit, bite, bit, bitter. It's very, very, right? You use your lips on that one, B, bit. I just went a little bit, bit. You have the T sound, tab all of these sounds that you hear will be very sharp tab the d sound which is the dab daddy dab dodo bird right d d d dad dab we have the k sound now, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's going to be a K there, like saying keep. It's a little bit different, right? So the K sound when using the C, as in Charlie. In this particular case, we're saying cab. Uh. K as in cab. Can you call me the cab? Very, very, very much sounding like a K, right? G, the G sound that changes, right? Because we have the gab. Like if you're saying Gabby, like the word or the name Gabby. Grab, right? That you hear it very, very loud in those particular cases. We have the F, turn on the fan. Or you can say, I am a huge fan. Fanático, right? No ventilador. Turn on the fan es el ventilador. I am a huge fan es un fanático. A fanatic. The V, sometimes we pronounce it as if it were a B. But remember that when you guys mention the B, you, you use your lips a lot more. Bit, bit. Now, when you guys are using the V, as in Victor, then that one changes because now you have to say it a little bit different. V, Victor. So there's a different, your mouth is a little bit different. Your lips are used a little bit different. Victor. I think in Spanish, people say vela vial, right? Because, because you use your lips a little bit more. V, 
V as in Victor. Now in Spanish, it becomes an issue because uh, la V, right? Some people say V. And in English, there is no, there is no such thing because there's a V and then there's a W, right? V as in Victor, W as in William. Uh, there's no need for you to say, you know, another type of V. So the van, in this particular case, the van. The Venetian blinds or Venetian windows. Right? Well, usually it's Venetian blinds. The S, like when you're saying sad, oh, I'm so sad, sad, sad. We have the Z. Now, when people are using the, when they're saying the ABCs, some people will say Z as in Z, or they will say Z automatically. However, when they're using the word, when they're using the C in a word, you will never hear the Z, right? It's always the Z as in zoo. Like in this particular case, the Z sound as in zoo, or when you guys say zebra, zoo, zebra. Zebra Sue. M is pretty easy. Man. Manhattan. Mandible. Man. The N is also very easy for us, right? I think we're accustomed to just pronouncing the no, so it, it makes it very easy for us to pronounce. Not. No. With that, we go into the H. Now, with this one, with the H, we also have a little bit of an issue because for us, the H is silent and we don't really pronounce it. But in English, you have to pronounce it. There is a sound that the H makes and it sounds like you're using a J in Spanish, like hot right? Hot, hotter, hotness, home, there is a sound. So whenever you guys see an H, try to make that, you know, that ho, 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 home. There is a sound that needs to be made. What's another one with H? Can you guys think of anything else with an H? Happy? How about happy? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, there we go. Hallelujah. And, they, and there's a song about hallelujah. Yeah. I, I don't even know how to spell that in Spanish. I'm going to yeah. leave it alone. <laughs> hungry. There we go. Yes. I am very hungry. So there is a really big H sound, all right? Moving on to the L. Harness, yeah, you got it, harness. L as in lad. L as in lady. L as in land. Lad. R. For us, it's a little bit easy, right? However, be careful in the pronunciations because you don't want to say red. You want to you want to pronounce it a little bit different, right? You want to you want to get that English lingo going and say red. What color is that? That's red. 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 There we go. The W makes a sound as wed, so the W has a very G sound to it. Whenever you guys see the W and it doesn't have an H, it is very pronounced as a G, right? Like in this particular case, wed or wedding or Wednesday. Um, what else can we say with a W? Wed, right? Well, you could say wet. Oh my God, I got wet. 
Now, it changes when it has an age, okay? Because those two together make a whole new sound. For example, who, right? Now, when you guys say what, you come back to the g, the G, very g sound. Who, what, when, where. All right. Okay. The TH sound here, as in thought. Hay una palabra en español que they, they keep saying, but it's not the same. Thought here is pensamiento. Thought, the way that they're using it in rap music is like a, uh, you know what? I don't even know what it is, really. So TH sound, you have to be careful with the TH sound because if you're not careful, you guys will sound like if you guys are using a Z, a Zot, right? And we don't want to sound like that because people will say, what? You want to really, you want to really make sure you put your lips, your teeth in your tongue, right? Thought. It's a very sharp, but you do have to use your tongue. Thought. You could say that it's the same sound but it's less. So it's a really hard TH sound and then there's a soft TH sound. Like when you say them, thought, right? It's very loud. But when you say them, it's a little bit lower. So it is known as a hard sound and a soft sound. Thought versus them. We have the sh sound. Like when you say shy. I read everybody, shy. 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 There we go. Or when you say shine. Shine. When you say shoot. Shoot. Shine, shy, shoot. Sh Think of a snake, right? Sh shoot, Sh shine. Okay. This symbol here is the S sound when you say shoo. Like for example, treasure. So I wanna say that it's something like that, sure treasure or casual i better say it with me treasure treasure it has treasure. to you can you cannot say treasure and leave it like that or you cannot say treasure and then not sound the sh right there it has to be pronounced you have to say treasure 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 kind of like that Treasure. Treasure. Casual. 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 So now when you're saying it quick, right? Hey, let's go look for the treasure. How should I dress? You should dress casual. It has to sound. If you don't sound it out, people will catch it and they'll give you a little bit of feedback on that. There has to be that sure, that cashier, that casual, treasure sound to it. All right, this symbol here is the symbol for CH when you say shime. Um, when you say choose, chime, choose. Choose. 
You could say something like that. Shine my shoes. Shine my shoes. I choose my shoes. Try that one. I choose. I choose my shoes. Oh, hold on, hold on. Como, acordate, como chusito. Ahí viene chusito. I choose my shoes. I choose my shoes. There we go. You got it, right? So I think you guys are going to have to think about chusito running around. But the sound that we're looking for is that cha, 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 chime. Choose what other words with ch can we use? Chimney, cheese. Yeah, there we go. Cheese. You don't say she's right. You guys don't say, Hey, yeah, let me have a little bit more cheese. It doesn't sound right. So you guys are gonna have to go and say, hey, can I have some cheese? Well, I choose, 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 cheese. So think of it that way. All right. We have this letter here. Well, the symbol. The symbol is actually used in other ways, but the majority of the time where you guys see this symbol is for the, the jam, j j jam. That's where you hear it the most. Jam, Jimmy, James. So you could say that it's almost that J sound. Jam, jam. Or when you guys are saying jazz, for example. Jazz, J, jam. Ju Jupiter, right? There's that, there's that J sound that we need to. And now a little backwards here, because the Y actually uses the J sound. For example, when you get, when you say yum. Yummy. What other words can you think of with why? Why, why, why? Young? Oh, come on, guys. Jedi. No, that's not it. <laughs> uh, I, I thought I had you guys. Yes, that's right. There we go, Maricela. Yes, of course. Now, I want to hear you guys say yes. A ver cómo lo dicen. Yes. 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 Hey, somebody said it. Somebody said chess. No, yes. Yes. Uh, I had I a teacher, and she said, she said us that... We have to pronounce yes like e s or no yes yes. You know what? You could do it like that. Yeah, that'll work. Yes, because it's the pronunciation. Yes. Yeah, 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 Marisela. And I actually yes. heard you pronounce it, and you pronounced it like that. You said yes, and that's the way that you. That's the way that I you're remember. To, there we go. All the that, time. <laughs> that's the way that you're supposed to pronounce it, right? And then the last letter is the N with the G, right? In this particular case, we're using sing. Sing. It could be song. It could be wong. <laughs> it could be mong. It's that NG sound. Okay, you guys can say something like ping, ding, <laughs> that one, yeah, let's, let's look for all the words that end with NG, right? Okay, 
So these are consonant sounds. And the idea is for you guys to ensure the correct pronunciation when you guys hear these on the words, right? When you guys see that the letter starts off with a W, how should you sound it out? If it's a TH, if you guys see that the word is ending with an ING, if you guys are seeing that the word you know starts with a Z, how should you pronounce it? Zebra, uh, zoo, right? They, they, we really wanna hear that zoo or that zebra sound. Now, going back to the examples with the TH, there are voiced, and there are unvoiced, okay? And it's kind of like saying hard TH and soft TH. Now, the most commonly used words in English is the word the. The TH is very important to us. And so you, we need to practice it, right? Because I don't want you guys to say it or to sound it out and for it to come out wrong. So these are some of the words that we use, right? The, I would say, would be one of the most important ones. Usually, almost everything we say starts off with the, right? The cat jumped over the fence or something like that. But there's, there's a few more. We have this. We have that. We have words that have the TH mixed in. Weather. Now... Just because it's in the middle, it doesn't mean that we don't listen to it or we're not paying attention to how you pronounce it. Weather. We want to hear that. Th we want to hear the TH sound, right? This, that, weather, then, these, those, they, them, other, clothes, either or either. Cualquiera de las dos will work. There, there, smooth, then, and there. These are the voiced th or the hard th. And if you if you if you kind of put your fingers on your throat, you can really when you say this, when you say this, you can really feel it, right? So one more time and follow me. Try to pronounce them with me. Acuérdense. This. This. That. This. Weather. That. Weather. 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 Then. 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 These. 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 Those. 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 They. They, they, them, 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 other, 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 other clothes, clothes, either, either, either there, 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 smooth, 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 smooth then. Then, there. There. there, and I know that some of these sound the same, but they're they're a little bit off, right? They have a little something on there that makes it change. All right, so let's go with the uh, unvoiced. Oh, look at thank, thin, think, thin. thought, thump, therapy, bath, with. Moth, path, youth. How do you know that it's unvoiced? Well, if you put your finger in your throat again, right? And you say, thank, there's really nothing going on there. Thank. Or when you say thin, when you say therapy, right? And so thank, thin, think, thought, thump, Therapy, bath, with, moth, path, and youth. Everybody good with that? Okay. So remember, 
we're gonna keep working on th for us th is pretty hard next time i'm gonna uh what what i am going to do is i'm gonna bring in some vocabulary more vocabulary words that include the th sound all right let me go ahead and put this one away because let's see after that who would like to try the tongue twister ah you thought i forgot about the tongue twister huh? tongue twister and this one is with the th th sound tongue twister who would like to try it out volunteers volunteers dun, 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 dun. you guys can review it first right you guys can voice it out this one is pretty tough even for me I, i'm still working on the speed This one includes the TH sound, the CH sound, the F sound. Oh, look at the W sound with an H. The S sound. Volunteers, volunteers, volunteers. Quien dice yo? Quien dijo miedo, pues? Quien dijo miedo? Who would like to try it? Dun, 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 dun. Señoritas, alguna señorita que, ah, que diga, ah, muévanse. Let me come through. I'll do it, teacher. Yo lo voy a hacer. Hmm? Let's see. Through three cheese trees three free fleas flew while these fleas flew freezy breezy blue freezy breezy made these three trees freeze freezy trees made these trees cheese freeze that's what made these three free fleas sneeze oh come on that's i'm getting better i'm getting better i'm getting better who wants to try it out? I don't want to see No, nadie, nadie quiere, nadie. Me teacher. There we go. Eso, eso. A ver, Marisela, let's try it out. <clears throat> Through three cheese trees, three flea fleas flew. While these fleas flew, freezy breeze blew. Freezy breeze made these three trees. Three, uh, three trees, freeze. <laughs> freezy trees made these three cheese, cheese freezy. That's what made these three free fleas sneeze. There That's we right. go. Yeah. <laughs> there, you got it. You got it. That's good. That's good. All right. Remember, we're going to keep bringing these up. There, there are some really easy ones here. Betty bought some butter. Well, B, a B, really B sound. Who wants to try their B sound? Betty bought some butter. Who wants to try it out? Jorge, you want to try it out? Um, I'm not like sure. No. Who, who, who said George or Ralph? I would like to try, but I don't know if you can hear. <laughs> we can hear you, Ralph. We can hear you, George. Let's let's give Rafael a try. Thank you, George. Thank you, George. Okay, I'll get you okay, next time. Welcome. Let's go, Rafael. Yeah. You know, we heard a few words, but you they were being said correctly. Um, we heard butter and we heard bitter. And we'll accept that. We'll take that rap. All right, good, good, good. Remember, beer, 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 right? Beer, beer. Betty bought some butter. Now, since we are practicing, we we do the you know the, the 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 gestures a little bit more pronounced. But when you guys are having a normal conversation, just make sure you put your lips together, right? Betty bought some butter, and you guys should be okay. All right, let me put this one away. Let me put this one away, and let's talk about the platform work and what we've been seeing. So we left off here, model verbs. Model verbs 
of obligation. And these are must, have, or have to, and should, right? And some of the examples that we have, you must stop here, you must stop here. You have to wear a seatbelt when you drive. You must answer at least one question. You should call Mary. I know she misses you a lot. She looks sick. He should go home. I must do some work. You shouldn't have smoked. I have to return the book now. I had to wear a school uniform when I was a child. So when do we use these? These are different levels of obligation, right? Some of these can be an opinion. Some of these can be a rule. Some of these can be an idea. And it all has to do with the topic of the conversation. How is it being used and how you are presenting your idea? Okay. So when you say you must stop here, why do you think you need to, you would say something like that. So let's think in real real life experiences when would you tell somebody that was driving that they must stop there when would you use it in real life you're in a car you're riding passenger and you tell the person that's driving you must stop here okay and I, I understood that it could have been like maybe the, the police stopping you. It could be also. Yeah, red light. There yeah, we go. Yeah. There we go. A red light. You see that the red light is coming up and your friend is not stopping, right? Hey, man. Hey, you must stop, right? There's a red light, right? So it's like a rule. It's a, uh, you know, it's a law in this case. So you must stop, okay? You have to wear a seatbelt when you drive. How about that one? You have to wear a seatbelt when you drive. That one goes back to, it is a law, right? If you don't wear your seatbelt and the police catch you, what happens? Una esquela, verdad? You get a ticket. There we go. Okay. And then you have, you must answer at least one question. You must answer at least a question. You must see the movie. You must go to the party. Right, it's a must that you go. What do you guys think about that one? What level of obligation do you guys think that is? It's more like a suggestion. There we go, you got it, Henry, that's it, right? That's it. Now, you should call Mary. What is that? It's an advice. That one is an opinion. I think you should call Mary. Oh, really? Well, nobody asked you, right? I'm not going to call her. So that's, that's how you work. That's how you bring these in, right? What level of obligation are we talking about? Okay. So let's talk about that for a minute. We have the verb, which is the obligation. And so we have must and we have should. Have to or ought to. This one here is pronounced ara. They say people people say ara, right? Ought to, or you ought to go. But you know, not too many people say it. So ought to means should, and must means have to. Okay. So this is the verb obligation. No obligation. Do not have to. The necessity must need need to. And if there's no necessity, don't have to, need and don't need to, right? Those are the examples. So how do you use them in present tense and past tense? Well, you can start off with, you must eat less. Hmm. 
you must eat less, right? You must do some work. You must you mustn't smoke. I have to return the book now. I have to return the book now. You should wear a seatbelt. You ought to apologize. If you're reading it fast, that's when I tell you it sounds kind of weird because you ought to apologize, right? You ought to apologize. We don't have to wear a tie. They must have clean water. They have to get some sleep. I've got to find a job. I need, an, I need new glasses. We need to book in advance. We don't have to wear a tie. We needn't book in advance. We don't need to book in advance. These are all examples of present. And of course we have the past. You should have eaten less. I had to make some work. You shouldn't have smoked. I had to return the book. You should have worn a seatbelt. You ought to have apologized. You guys notice how we put the word half in a few of these and the word had in a couple as well. You should have eaten less, right? We change the must to the should and that turns it into past. You should have eaten less. I had to return the book. We didn't have to wear a tie. They had to have clean water. We had to get some sleep. I had to find a job. I needed new glasses. We needed to book in advance. Man, we messed up. We didn't have to wear a tie. Now I'm choking, right? Oh, it's so hot. We needn't have booked in advance or we didn't need to book in advance. These are the examples of using it in past. So we have present and we have past. Okay. Now, these are some auxiliary verbs. If you guys are using present, if you guys are using past, future, and if it's external obligations. Now these we're gonna go over a little bit later on. Really wanted to come down to just the mustn't versus don't have to. What does it mean when you guys see it? When you guys see mustn't, it is prohibited, it is not allowed, it is important that you do not do something. It's like when you say, you must not drink that. El gran bote de matarratas. It is forbidden to drink that. Don't drink that. It is not allowed. You mustn't. So it's the shorter version, right? You mustn't tell John. Do not tell John. You are not allowed to tell John. When you say don't have to, the meaning is there is no obligation. You are not required to do something, especially if you don't want to. Uh, you don't have to drink that. You don't need to drink that, but you can if you want to, right? You don't have to tell John. Well, you can tell John if you want to, but it's not necessary. Do you really have to tell John, right? And so those are the examples of when you guys use must not or mustn't, or and the word don't have to. Everybody good so far? Put that one away. Let me put that one away. Let me get you guys. Let me see what I have, what I have here. Yeah, there we go. I like these. How many of you guys have done any of these exercises on your own? Really, really. I see I was at home and you know what? I'm going to do one of these. The ones that the teacher is always talking about. Nobody. Ah. Fiel, fiel al trabajo, me gusta. I'm not gonna work, man, I'm, I'm free. All right, so help me out with this one. Based on what we just saw, help me fill in the answers. Let me give you the first one. You don't have to, you must be quiet in the library. People are studying. So is it, is it optional, right? When you're in the library, is it optional for you to stay quiet or is it a must? In this particular no. case, 
it's a must. There we go, right? You have to be quiet. So it's a must. You must be quiet in the library. All right. Help me out with one through five. You, blank, have a passport to travel abroad. Do you need a passport to travel outside of your country? Yes. Yes, we need it. Yes, you yes. need it? Yes. So would that be have to or mustn't? Have to. You have, have to. to have a passport to travel abroad. All right. This one here, abroad. You have to have a passport to travel abroad. All right, next one, number two. People blank travel on travel on pub public transport without a ticket. That would that one was hard. I don't know why. People blank travel on public transport without a ticket. Mustn't. Mustn't. Yeah, mustn't. All right. People mustn't travel on public transport without a ticket. All right. Number three. We blank. Get up early yesterday because there was no school. Didn't have, to. didn't have to. Didn't have to? Okay. We didn't have to get up early yesterday because there was no school. All right. Number four. You must. You must finish your homework. The teacher wants to check it tomorrow. Mm, that sounds like a must. And number five. You need to. You need to wear trainers. I, you know what? I for PE. PE is physical education. So trainers would have to be the sweatpants. I think that's another word for the trainers. Or it, it could be the shoes, the tennis shoes. I don't know. I was about. So you know how when you were in school, you, you took dress shoes or casual shoes? But then when you went to PE, which is physical education, you had to change into tennis shoes. I think it has to do with that or either either that or the, the sweatpants. All right. You must No, in this particular case is you need to wear you trainers to. for PE. Need to, right? You need to wear. And then there's a few more exercises. I think we're going to leave these for tomorrow. There, you can see that, right? We got backed up a little bit. But we can get an answer for what we already did. And let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, Oh, yeah. We got them all right. So they're all green. We got them right. Okay. All right. So now there's a little bit more, right? Uh, so for tomorrow, I think we can. I think we can. Uh, we'll try to try to complete uh, section number two and number three. And in one of these, they ask you to kind of swap the words around and make a new sentence. This one, I believe it's important because during the knowledge checks that we have in our platform, there are some cases where they ask you to unscramble a sentence and put it back together. So I think this would be great exercises for us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it for the class. Let me see, let me go here. Please don't forget the platform work. Please don't forget the modules. Make sure you guys are completing them. Make sure you guys are watching the videos. Make sure you guys are getting the little green check marks. I'm sorry, the white check marks in the little green circle. All right. All right, everybody. I think I'm going to give you guys five minutes back. Like always, a pleasure. Have a wonderful night and see you guys tomorrow. Hasta la vista, baby. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow, guys.